Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jocelyn, I use she, her pronouns, and I make videos about my experience as a queer engineering student in Canada. I'm currently working as a systems engineering co-op student, and you can check out my previous vlogs if you want to learn more about that. Tonight, the plan is to prepare for my upcoming trip to Toronto. I went to Toronto a few weeks ago to visit my sister, and this time I'm going to Toronto to help my cousin move in. If you keep up with my vlogs, you'll know that I needed a new carry-on suitcase, and I am happy to share that I have finally purchased a new one. I decided to purchase the Monos carry-on luggage, which is currently on sale for 273 Canadian dollars. It's sleek and minimal, yet extremely functional, and the two features I love most are the smooth wheels and the built-in locking mechanism. This suitcase comes with a few extras, including some reusable bags, a luggage tag, and this card which shares a little description of the company's philosophy. Overall, this is a 10 out of 10 purchase, and I would recommend it to anyone who travels a lot. With that said, here is what I pack for a weekend trip. I start off with packing my underwear, socks, an eye mask, and face masks. And when packing clothes, it's really important to know what the weather will be like. Otherwise, I end up packing things I don't need. In general, I usually pack a few basic t-shirts or polos and a hoodie in case I get cold. I'm also bringing my raincoat because I know that it tends to rain a lot in Toronto. If I'm going to a formal event, like a swing dance for instance, I will then pack a nicer outfit. But this is a casual weekend, so I'm just sticking with casual attire. From there, I pack a pair of chinos and I pack sweatpants for sleeping. For those who are curious, I started learning about Japanese minimalism in 2019. And in that time, I came across a book called Spark Joy by Mary Kondo. This is where I learned about the Kamari folding method, and I have been folding my clothes like this since reading that book. This method is a really effective way to organize clothing, and it comes in handy when packing for these weekend trips. When it comes to toiletries, I put all my liquids in one bag and everything else in another. Since I'm flying, I need to make sure that all my liquid containers are less than 100 milliliters. So here I am filling up these small bottles with shampoo, conditioner, moisturizer, and pomade. Then I put all this into my clear bag along with toothpaste, deodorant, sunscreen, and eczema cream. My toothbrush, floss, and a bar of soap goes into the second toiletries bag. Next up, I pack my Fujifilm X100T camera, a Kindle e-reader, and a portable charger inside my Moment Fanny Sling. And of course, I pack my phone, wallet, keys, and other travel documents in there too. My headphones are way too big for this Fanny Sling, so I just keep them around my neck for easy access. Finally, I pack a towel and an empty water bottle which I can refill after I get through security. When I finished packing, half of the suitcase was still empty. The Monos carry-on has tons of room, and I definitely could have packed everything in a backpack if I wanted to. However, I wanted to give this luggage a test run before my upcoming two-week vacation, and as I said before, I give the Monos carry-on a 10 out of 10. That brings us to the end of this video, so thanks for watching, consider subscribing for more content, and I'll see you in the next one. Ingat.